Arizona, four years of college may get you a better job, right? Still, most of us spend the first few years out paying those student loans back. Have we made you anxious yet, parents? Well, our next family says, uh-uh, it doesn't have to be that way. The Economides are known as America's cheapest family, um, and the way they save isn't crazy, and they say anyone can put a child through college without going into debt before you roll your eyes. You have to listen to this. Their latest book is called The Money Smart Family System. This book is awesome. <laughs> and Steve and Annette Economides join us again this morning. It's been a while since you've been here it on is. Good Morning Arizona. Good morning. Good morning. Want to let you know that they're babies because you have five kids are with us this morning as well. We've got Joe and Abby and uh, they are going through college. They're at uh, Grand Canyon University mm -hmm. and we're thrilled that they're here because they're going to share some tips as well. Thank you so much. Well, for being here. here. Yeah, it is. You know, we were talking about this. You're, you're considered America's cheapest family, and that's something you're proud of for good reason, and it's so great you're sharing your tips with us. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we like the title of this book, Money Smart, because that's what we want to help parents achieve, and we want to give them hope. There is always hope, and debt is not the answer. Well, let's get right to these tips. Okay. And, you know, you'll want to follow along at home because they really make great common sense, and they're things that we really can all do. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. You say if you've got kids going in, into college, try two years at community college. Absolutely. Because especially if a kid isn't sure what they want to major in, the community college is a great place to get those requireds out of the way. The classes are smaller and um, it's less money sure. for sure. Mm -hmm. And no one looks at a four-year degree and says, where did you go the first two years? No, they so. really don't. I went, I, I went to community college and it was, it was great. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, especially financially. Yes. Yep. Yep. All right. Talk to me about avoiding loans. There are so many ways to stay out of debt and that's starting a community college paying cash, saving your money in advance, um, looking for scholarships, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but it, it doesn't, you don't have to borrow money. And we get emails from people saying, I, I'm 20 years out of school, I just finished paying off my student loans, and now my kids want to go to school, what am I going to do? We can't keep living that way. No, I mean, this is so stressful, and then we'll continue that vicious cycle. Yes. All right, let's talk about, you said scholarships, let's talk about scholarships, because you can check for them even while you're in college. That's yes, right. a lot of colleges say that you need to be there, you have to have 12 hours under your belt mm -hmm. before you can apply for colleges that that particular university gives. And there's myriads of private scholarships as well, but some scholarships from the college are only given after you've been there for 12 credits. Let's bring Abby in on this because you know about this. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different websites you can go on. Um, and then you can just really make a profile. And then as soon as you make that profile, you get millions of matches for scholarships. How so, great, because weeding through it is what can be really discouraging. Well, the yes. first one we started with the College Blue Book, and it was huge, and it took us hours. Abby gets emails all the time now and just writes little essays, answers questions, and she's entered right. in scholarships. And I don't know, some of the websites, Abby, mm -hmm. what are they? Um, there's CapEx, College Prowler, FastWeb, scholarships.com, scholarship. We're going to list these on our hotline. Yes. So if you're yeah. frantically writing these down at home, don't worry. We're going to take care of you on that. <laughs> um, you also say live at home, which makes sense. I want to get to the next tip. Mm -hmm. Buy used textbooks and not from the college bookstore. Let's bring Joe in on yes. this because you've got a great tip there. Well, the biggest and most important thing to remember is the education is worth every penny. But that being said, you don't have to pay full price for textbooks. It's not necessary. Um, you can find them on eBay. You can find them on Half. You can find them on Amazon. One of the tips that we found out a couple of years ago when I first started going was buying international versions. They're, they have all of the same content. content. They have, um, sometimes they even have more content. And they're printed overseas. They can't be sold resale here in the United States but you can buy them from other people that have them. Okay, that is an, a fascinating mm -hmm. tidbit of information. We're just scratching at the surface. Jay, uh, Joe, thank you for that tip. They're going to Grand Canyon University. Mm -hmm. Part of that helps uh, to save money because they can live at home. Now, if you are as impressed with Joe and Abby as we are, you're gonna wanna stick around or set your DVRs mm -hmm. because you're gonna share some tips on how to get young kids to save money.
It is 923. Most parents will tell you kids are great. They're expensive. So before they start asking about a new toy or maybe ask for the same clothes they saw a movie star wearing, it's important to teach them the value of money, and it's not easy. Well, the Economides have raised five kids who are nearly all about to be out on their own, two still living at home, but they're in college, and both the parents and kids are debt-free. Even those who have graduated from college, they started, though, educating their kids about money early in life, and they've detailed a lot of this information in their latest book. It's called The Money Smart Family System, and this is so exciting. Steve and Annette are with us, along with their daughter, Abby, and uh, they're going to share how they've been able to do this. We want to know how you started when it comes to educating kids about money. You, you got to start young and parents need to be the example but we always tell parents if you haven't learned how to manage your money all you need to do is be one step ahead of your kids. But we start our kids really young teaching them what coins are when they're two or three years old. We move them to a bank, you know, one piece bank then we go into a three part bank. It, it's, it's basically a lifestyle teaching them that they're going to be earning money, they're going to be saving money and they're going to be spending money and they need to learn to do I want to drive a point home before you get into some of these okay. examples because remember it was gosh maybe a month two months ago when that report came out that said it was going to be just over $260,000 to raise one child between mm -hmm. 0 and 17. Not including college. Right. And you guys say you were able to raise each one of your kids uh, with about $60,000. About $60,000. That's and the, significant. And the money we did spend, we gave them a little bit at a time to manage themselves. So by the time they're 18, like Abby, She's paying for her own auto insurance. She's paying for her own college. She is standing financially independent because we aren't raising kids. We're raising future adults. We're going to get to right. Abby in a moment, but we want to show you how this can be done. Right. And so when they're zero to seven, they're working with a three-part bank. They're working up to that. When they are eight years old, starting eight years old, they move to envelopes mm -hmm. where they're practicing their math skills. Very practical things, adding, subtracting, percents, um, and all that stuff. And then they they add clothes and we'll talk about that in a few okay. minutes but that's that's so where you're we putting go. money away this is allowance right. that you're giving and they're able to to basically budget actually right. you we're taking the money that we're already spending on them okay. parents are spending money on their kids on a weekly basis we're turning that into an investment tool and and our kids are returning back as they learn how to manage their money and our website America's cheapest family com has the whole system it's our money smart kids system and it's just an awesome program for teaching kids financial responsibility all right speaking of that let's talk about chores and what these help kids with it down the road in the book we talked about chores being the gateway to a real job to future work and and it's true as we give our kids chores they they earn points every day and they have to follow we follow up on them they have to do the chore well they have to have a good attitude about it okay and, and as they learn to do that watering the garden taking care of the dogs you know scooping the doggy do it teaches them responsibility <laughs> eventually that translates into a job and you know Abby's got a job. She's getting raises, promotions. It's incredible. And uh, would you, how would you compare yourself with your peers no, without getting you into trouble with your friends? <laughs> um, I know how to manage my own money a lot better. Um, I don't necessarily have more money than them, but I reach my goals faster than they do. They get their money from mom and dad, and they're 18. Some of them have never held a first job yet, mm -hmm. and I started working I mean, ever since I can remember, I've been working. You just seem wise beyond your years. <laughs> and in the interest of time, I know that there's something about driving. You say to save now on insurance, get them to drive your car because it's cheaper to get secondary insurance. But you also say when it comes to finding a job, practice these interview skills mm -hmm. and take them to the stores they might want to work? Sure. We're, we're trying to be smart about it. Right. And so it, if they feel like there's a business that they want to work at, a retail place, you, sh you show up there, you look at how they're dressed, you look at how the, the attitude of the people there and and you decide is this where we want to work and this is a great time of year to get a job because it's before seasonal help is hired so if they get a job now they can keep it after the holidays and we practice the interview at home introduce yourself make eye contact shake the hand you know have some self-respect write a resume and all that good stuff well there is so much good stuff in this book want to let you know they've got this book signing it's happening at Barnes and Noble up there at Kierland Saturday between 1 and 4 and if you're as drawn to this segment as as we have been mm -hmm. so, so many questions for you guys <laughs> they can actually teach us a lot nice enough to give us a little bonus for our website log on azfamily.com you're gonna find the 10 things all parents should never pay for <laughs> for their kids we're back in a moment.